y'all i'm barb welcome to my craft studio i have another totally tiffany organization video this week we're talking about the leanne buddy bag Leanne's one that I use quite a bit. Some of my examples I don't use, use the bag for that and other ones I do. But first we'll kind of talk about the dimensions on Leanne. Leanne measures 12 and a half by four and a half by four and a half. I usually have fat quarters in this one, but <laughs> it's not what's in here right now. Um, the inner tray measures 12 by four by four. She's designed for Punches, tools, fat quarters, craft paints. Um, so she can even put ink pads in there. You can see Tiffany put a variety of punches in there. And just assorted stuff. I have one more thing I know I use it for, and I didn't have bring, bring that in here. I will go get it in a few minutes, but first to do this. Um, you can put acrylic paints in here. She sticks really well. Hubby likes this bag for that reason. There are two ounce bottles. Let's see, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times three, 27 bottles of paint. So she could hold quite a bit of acrylic paint. Right now, this is all I have. I usually put mine in a different bag because I don't have as many as what it would take to fill her up. But that's one of the potential uses for her. I just loaded her with lockdown punches. Tiffany did use some other different punches in there. Of this style, I have seven because that's all I had. But you could fit at least a couple more. You could at least fit nine in there. Now, if you use other style punches, how many you get in there is really going to depend upon the thickness of that punch. The lockdown ones are pretty much the same width or depth, whatever you want to call it, um, for each punch. So I'm just going to set that off the side. I use the bag a lot. I use it like this. This is A2 envelopes. I can fit two rows of them in there, so I can fit quite a bit. This is the card size that I make the most, so I try to keep quite a bit of envelopes on hand, so I have plenty for birthday cards and Christmas cards. Well, this year some of my Christmas cards might be bigger. I will have to check that. But but that's one of the uses I use her for because she, she really will hold quite a few envelopes at the A2 size. Um, I use her for fat quarters. This one happens to have my Halloween ones in it. I will also, um, if I get down to less than maybe half a yard, I'll fold them up and put them inside Leanne. So... Some of these are just fabric pieces that are folded up because this one's pretty full right now. But that is one of the things that I use Leanne for a lot. I should maybe get this way the things I use it for. This is I use a lot of Leanne because under my desk I have a shoe shelf that I got at Target. It's wooden and it has the top shelf and then there's kind of a shelf in the center. The bottom's open but it kind of creates like three tiers that way and I found the Leanne bag fits perfectly 
in between the shelves. So I use a lot of her for that. Some of the stuff might fit in other bags, but I use Leanne because she fits that storage area so well. This I have my um, glue dots, my pop-up glue dots, my, my Zots, that type of um, adhesive in there. I keep my extras in there. I found some at garage sales and stuff. This one, I keep my tape runner refills. I try to pick up some of those whenever I'm... Um, I've got quite a bit built, built up, so I haven't been buying them as much now. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of a big project, I go through a lot of these. But it, this has my Elmer's tape runner refills in it. That is one of the uses for mine. This one has other tape runners and low tack tape. And I found these pencils on Amazon. I haven't used them a lot. I really need to test them more. They're supposed to be able to, you, you have to sharpen them first, but they're supposed to help you pick up things. They're kind of like, a, they have like a sticky point. But I throw those in there. Um, this is extras of liquid refills and the little fine tip applicator bottles that I have. He said, I use Leanne a lot. This one has my double-sided and foam adhesive in it. And my ATG refills are there as well. As they're also double-sided, so I keep that in there. This has an assortment of blade and blade refills. Hobby Lobby clearanced some of the punch board refills out. I picked them up because I figured eventually I would need them. And it's not a product that's going to go bad by just sitting in there. So, I'm, I thought maybe I had my cutters in there, but this is basically just extra blade refills for some of my cutting tools. And then this one has my glue gun refills and my Tombow multi. I've got some more adhesive ones. I think I found a bunch of these at a garage sale and some on clearance at Hobby Lobby so I picked them up because they were so cheap. I might even got them cheaper than that price that was on there. And then these I picked up at um, Sam's Club. They, were, they came with like five packs of these refills for hot glue guns so I picked, up, picked them up because it was a really good price and you always need hot glue refills so that's ways I use it I'm going to pause it and be right back here's with one. one more way hubby plays a game called app baseball and he, he has a lot of envelopes the cards are about trading card size so she would work for trading cards as well. He just loads it with the envelopes that either they came with or that he had me make custom ones for him with my Cricut. So that's another way. I've also used this down by where I sit. I keep candy in it. <laughs> I used to keep that size in my craft room, but I switch and I just keep that one down by where we watch TV and I have candy in it. I didn't bring that one upstairs though. But that's the ways that I use Leanne plus a few other ways that you can use her. This one's, like I said, probably one of my favorite ones. I have several on my shelf that's over that way that have, because this is my um, sewing cutting table and I, so I just put all my favorite quarters up above on shelves. So I keep all those there and then a bunch of these go under my desk on the, like I said, on the um, shoe shelf that I have. If I think about it, I will try to get a photo of that and add it at the end. Um, that's the ways I, I use Leanne. I'm, like I said, basically these bags, anything you can fit in there, you can store in there, but this just gives you an idea of some of the ways you could potentially use Leanne. I want to thank you for joining me. I'll, and I'll, we'll catch you next time. Next week is the Lisa bag. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.